So I'm in Santa Monica. People are definitely dressed like it is fall. It's 70 something degrees, I believe. Oh no, it's 66. Wiltshire Boulevard. Beaches that way. I'm oh yeah, the oceans that way. Straight ahead. I'm trying to go to this lobster place. In between one of them little domes at right there, that's where I'm at. Hey, how are you today? Okay, so. I'm now in Palm Springs and here is the room. The pool is closing. It's got a nice pool area. I may go out there tonight. I kind of have to sneak and leave my dog. Oh, and I have a, uh, well, it's dark. I got here after sundown. So sun, the sun sets at um, like 445 here, but, or this time of year at least. But um, I have like a back porch thing and uh yeah i um have to sneak and leave theo because technically you're not supposed to leave your pets unattended in the room but i'm gonna do a spa treatment tomorrow uh so yeah and this room is really spacious the layout is interesting with the bed kind of like being on an angle i like it so that's that this hotel does not have a room service past 2 p.m., but that's okay. Thank God for DoorDash. I'm about to eat a taco salad. And I have a hibiscus-flavored agua fresca. Please ignore this trash in the background. So I think these are the San Jacinto Mountains, and we are actually in the Coachella Valley, where they have the Coachella Festival. Come on, Theo. Walk in the desert. Show them. This is Theo on his desert walk. It's 5.09, it's just about completely dark, and I am at the In-N-Out Burger drive-thru. The line wraps around kind of like a Chick-fil-A, except Chick-fil-A has like double and triple lanes. And theirs here is, is a little bit wider, I think, to give the cars more space, but yeah, I've had in and out before. I just want some now. And I'm going to get a date shake. I've not... Apparently that's a thing. Coachella Valley is known for its dates. Uh, the sweet dried fruit things. Which I actually like. Um, so I'm going to try it. Try the date shake. So here is my date shake. And I got Theo a pup cup of maple bacon ice cream. And um, I'm going to head back to the hotel. I don't know if it's the whipped cream. It, it tastes very vanilla-y, but very rich and creamy. I don't think I've tapped into the dates yet, but it's really good.
All right, we are in Santa Barbara. I don't know if you remember your parents watching the soap opera from like the 80s, 90s that was based here. But um, I actually, I didn't think I would remember anything from the show because I was small and it would just be on in the background. But I remember them mentioning Stern's Wharf, I think. And it's the main strip in this town and we are here. We're gonna get out um, once it's safe. This is a mango nada with mango and chamoy sauce. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I wanted to get it with soursop. So in this size, you can mix two flavors. Uh, but the soursop was too frozen and icy. So I mixed mine with pineapple, which is a yellow flavor on top. And this is a tamarind coated straw and spoon, obviously. So, I'm back at the airport hotel. I actually missed my flight today because traffic was ridiculous coming back from Palm Springs to LAX. It took an extra hour. And I left really, well, left at like 7 a.m. or whatever. Um, had planned to leave at 6. Not a morning person. Didn't happen. But it was the traffic, really, that, um, yeah. Anyway, so I'm here at my airport hotel for another night, flying out tomorrow morning, and this is my dinner. I was going to go out for Middle Eastern. A little bit mad I didn't, but not really. I can say that for another trip. Yeah, I guess. I was, I'm so tired today. I went up to Santa Barbara and drove back. And um, I thought about that because I was like getting really tired driving. So I was like, do I really want to go downtown, have some food and some wine and drive back, even though it's only like 20 minutes. But anyway, um, I didn't want to chance it. Here is my dinner. I wish they would have sliced it like they did in the picture. And I also wish they would have given me a plate, but this came off a food truck, I think. I don't know, the DoorDash person brought it. It's a burrito um, with carne asada as my meat. It's got cilantro, onions, um, and green salsa. Very good. Oh, well, the sauce is on the side. I'm glad I said that. Um, yeah, super fresh, super amazing. And I have a Mexican hot chocolate. Put this phone down. You can't really tell necessarily. Um, we can tell a little bit. It's got all the spices, the um, cinnamon. I think it's got a little cayenne pepper. I've only had one sip, but it is very good. Very smooth and rich and creamy and chocolatey.